Alright, I think I have to start with the, 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 the main request that I got. I feel like I'll, I'll start drawing it first, and then uh, you guys can guess as I'm doing it what I'm, what I'm drawing. The guesses are hilarious. Face on Mars, Samus. Somebody says. <laughs> Is Skywalker still in the chat? Skywalker, you there? Guesses are coming through. <laughs> Somebody see when the last time she tweeted was. Because if it was soon, you should. Somebody should send this to her. Imagine if she like pops in, in here. That would be like amazing. That would be like amazing if she came in here. <laughs> Some people are still guessing the Samus. See how horrible this comes out. I don't even remember. Is, uh, the dog is the undo, right? I haven't done this in a few months. Sierra characters. Beautiful woman. <laughs> Seriously. Oh 
This is Mario opinion. <laughs> I can only go back one, huh? That's right. I was always bitching about that when I was doing the animation. I have not touched this fucking thing since that. It's like never, never again. <laughs> never again. I do not like what I'm doing with her nose. It's very hard to draw with this fucking thing. I could sit here and draw fucking Gates McFadden all day. No problem. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I feel like I should have Star Trek on right now. Zelda? No, Trader Pat. understand at this point, because people are still guessing, you all understand that it's it's Gates McFadden from Star Trek The Next Generation. I thought that everybody understood that at this point. Dr. Beverly Crusher. Oh, you know who you could tweet this at, actually? Better yet, Will Wheaton. Because he might actually be around. Her son on the show. A lot of people didn't like Wesley Crusher. I actually did not mind Wesley Crusher. Then again, I don't think there's anything about that show that I don't like, so... <laughs> I love that show. Star Trek. Have you guys all seen Trekkies? Have I told the story about the Klingon before? Have I told that story? Have you guys heard my Klingon story? I've told that before, right? I'm almost positive that I had to have told that story. If I didn't, I'm gonna tell it. Let me know, guys, if you've heard the Klingon story. My, Klingon, my classic Klingon story. It's a very old story. I'm pretty sure I've told it 20 times. You haven't heard it, Dan? Well, if Dan hasn't heard it, then I guess I have to tell the story. Dan, by the way, um, did the cover for AVGN Volume X, our new Blu-ray. Um, so I'll, I'll tell the Klingon story. So, I've been a fan of Star Trek. Um, and by the way, Travis Keys, thank you very much. You have 640... 
two people watching you draw Gates McFadden on, su on Super Mario Paint. Living the dream. <laughs> Super Mario Paint? Uh, yeah, right? So, yeah, so I've been a fan of Star Trek since since I was a kid, pretty much. I saw Star Trek IV in the movie theater. I've met William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and blah, 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 blah. I'm a big Star Trek fan. So, um, first, I believe the first uh, convention I ever went to of any sort was a Star Trek convention. And I believe it was in, like, 1994? Or 1995, something like that. I was about 14 years old, and uh, it uh, it was in Pennsylvania, and I went to this convention, and it was a Star Trek convention, and William Shatner was there, and Tim Russ Tubach was there. Uh, as far as I can remember, those were like the only people I can remember that were there. So those were some of the guests, and, and somebody could look it up and tell, and tell me what con that was, but, uh, so, I was going around the vendor area, and they had all kinds of really cool Star Trek merchandise, starships, and everything. This was like around the time when Generations had come out, like Star Trek was very popular at that point, it was like the height of Star Trek's popularity in our culture probably around that time you know going in from original series to next generation and all that anyway there was a ton of people there and so I was going around the dealer room and I uh, I was looking at action figures and stuff like that and I and I started to hear noises and I hear whatever I'm like okay I hear like Klingon people like I look over and there's like guys dressed head to toe in the Klingon guard really awesome outfits like they looked like the Klingons on the show like these guys were they were serious about it so but they're yelling they're it's like it was a little too much like it was kind of like all right this is a little more like serious than like what you would hear like you know I was like, there's something weird going on about this. It's not just like somebody doing Klingon voice. It's like, these people are like yelling at each other, but they're yelling at each other in, in Klingon, like screaming at each other. And everybody turns around, everybody's like watching these two Klingon guys yell at each other. And I don't know if, you, if you've seen Star Trek III, uh, The Search for Spock, the one with uh, Christopher Lloyd, but there's a knife, a Klingon knife. Uh, there's different types of Klingon weapons. There's like the, the Batleth, that war fuses, that like big huge thing. I'm not talking about that. There's another knife, and it's like, it's a knife like this, and then there's a button on it, and these two blades pop out. It's, I think it's called the Tang, something like that. This guy pulls that knife out, does the fucking thing, the things come out, takes the knife and stabs the other guy in the leg. Or in the side or something. This was like 25 years ago. Um, 20 years ago or something, and um, the guy was taken out of the convention on a stretcher. Klingons got in a fucking fight, and I always say, I don't know what they were fighting about, but I have to imagine they were fighting, they were probably fighting, in, in Klingon, they were fighting over, uh, <laughs> this is just a joke, I have no, no idea what they, uh, what they were actually fighting over, but they were probably fighting over who's the better captain, Kirk or Picard, but... That is one of the most ridiculous fucking things that I ever saw in my entire life. I think I told that story once before on James Mike Monday or something, but that's a true story. And I don't, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> you, believe, you believe that? Unbelievable. Hilarious. Yeah. So 1995, I believe that was. I wonder if anybody else was there or at that convention or remembers that. Unbelievable. Anyway, Kate McFadden is awesome. <laughs> I really miss Star Trek The Next Generation. It was a great show. My favorite Star Trek movie is Star Trek 4. 
the voyage home. I love the theme to that uh, movie. This is finally the first Star Trek uh, movie that I saw in the theater. What, uh, is actually my favorite. Remains my favorite this day. But I also like Six, and I also like uh, well, two Star Trek two. First Contact's really good. Although I'm not a huge fan of the Borg Queen, I don't think the Borg should have a Queen because the Borg are supposed to be like, you know, whatever. Anybody, you guys know about the Borg? You know what I'm talking about. I don't think they need a Queen. I don't think the board need a queen! Will Wheaton's sweaters on TNG were iconic. That's, they were Epcot Pizza. Blade Home was the best? Yeah. When I finish this, you guys gotta, uh... You know what? I should upload this as an individual video. I would love Gates McFadden to see this. Gates McFadden, by the way, if you ever see this, you are awesome. That's all, all you need to know. And she probably hears that every day from Star Trek fans, but... I'll tell her again. That's part of the outfit. Mm. I feel like this is a little bit. I need to do something here. My hand is already starting to hurt. This stupid Mario paint mask. My, my other big complaint about I wish this game had more colors, but that's um, part of the I guess charm, I guess, of trying to do all this with, with Mario Paint. It's like, that's, you, you, you work with what you're given, you know? This is not Photoshop, so you gotta, you gotta deal with what, the, what they gave you. It's kind of a, like a drawn challenge. It's like, yeah, they don't have every hue and color that you'd want. Hue. Shall we start making more board jokes? Strong cheekbones, right? She does. Alright, I'm gonna do... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this, like... The grayish, because I'm gonna... This background's gonna be black. Thank you, Irish still Perry man. Play Super Metroid with a mouse. <laughs> that would go well. Imagine wall jumping. With the fucking mouse.
do like I know that's weird, but I'm looking at a photo, and that's kind of like what it looks like. It's like weird. I need like a blue one. like the weirdest background to try to draw. You know what? I'm going to take my art. I don't like this. I'm going to take my artistic liberty here. And I'm going to get rid of the background that's the photo is doing because I, I just don't like that. I don't think it's working. I'm going to just change it completely. I'm going to make it different. Let's, get, let's do something else. Let's do... Let's just do, like, space. The final frontier. Use the voyages. Check off with an earring. <laughs> yes, Captain. We are trying to crush ya, Captain. Nuclear vessel. Nuclear vessel. I believe it's across the bay in Alameda. Now, I really hope that's Skywalker. Is Skywalker in the chat? Did he leave? I guess he's the one who requested this. I really hope he didn't leave. Are you here, Skywalker? That would suck if the person who requested- Oh! He is here. Good. Good, good. How about we need like a planet, right? It's got like a Mars or something. Like that. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I know Mars is red, whatever, it's some planet. It, U Utopia Planitia. I don't know.
about done, guys. <laughs> Alright, there's your Gates McFadden. I got way too into that request. That's what happens when you ask me to draw something Star Trek that at this point. Like, how long was I drawing it? Well, I can't tell because I was doing Super Mario World so long the timer's off. At what point did I start that? How long was I doing that, guys? You, you figure it out. Like 15 minutes or something? So, maybe I'll take one more request. 24 minutes, somebody said. Okay. Alright, so that's Gates McFadden. That's done. Um, I'll do one more request, guys, and then I'm gonna go. 25 minutes. 24, 25 minutes. I couldn't do that if I had 10 hours. <laughs> I'm looking at requests now. Whoa, things are going coming in quick now. Draw Worf. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm probably gonna do something other than Star Trek now. Says she's pretty hot. <laughs> Meanie. <laughs> I'm Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. That, that, that's a possibility. Alright, so a lot of people, uh, a lot of people made a request for something. I'm gonna, so I've decided what I'm gonna draw now so you can stop with the requests. I'm gonna, let's do an eraser on, on good old Gates McFadden. Bye, Gates McFadden. By the way, if you ever see this, you're, you're great. So there she goes. Alright, so we're gonna start in on the next drawing. <laughs> 